Hey, check this out. I ran into a situation yesterday where uh, I had a client that wanted an aerial and they wanted a logo to come in, uh, which they gave me a, a, a TIFF image that had some transparency around it and it was shaped in, a, in an oval and had some things on it. But um, when you bring the TIFF in, it uh, basically gives you a box and if it's white behind it hopefully you have it um, over something that's white but in this case I had it over an aerial and I wanted the, the logo itself to be round um, showing the transparencies and and uh, I, I questioned it and uh, you know did a little bit of research and uh, found that there's a there's an easy solution for that so this is how I did it uh, Basically, if I go ahead and, and I generated this uh, this simple logo, it's nothing uh, extravagant. Um, but you drag and drop it into your inner drawing, and um, let's scale it up so you can see what's going on here. And this is a TIFF image, and there's a there's an oval color oval with some uh, with a black square actually that's right here. But if I were to plot this the way that it is right now. Obviously, the whole aerial would 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 not show up when I plotted it. So uh, the the quick answer to this is um, one is if you don't have your border on, you can type in uh, the command frame and then simply do a, a one or zero. Right now, you want it to be one if you want to pick the the edges of your image. Uh, zero will make it hide, and, and we'll do that later. So I'm going to escape. And to make the image transparent, now granted your TIFF image has to have some transparency in it. Um, so if you get the image from someone and it's not uh, transparent uh, in the areas that need to be transparent, they, it won't show up that way. Um, and there's some programs out there, Photoshop, uh, GIMP, that uh, can help you with that. Um, but for this, uh, it's real simple. You just grip it, do a right click, and you see image down here and you see transparency you click transparency and you just say on press enter and it makes the transparent portions of your image transparent now we got the aerial coming through and the logo shows there uh, the only thing that uh, we need to do in addition to this is back to the frame command and set this to zero so now my frame doesn't show up and the logo is physically showing up on the aerial uh, rate this video subscribe to my channel See you next time.